Conformity. Conformity refers to a change in behaviour or beliefs to match those of the majority of a group. Social and dispositional factors both have an impact on conformity to majority influence. Social factors. Number one is group size. As the size of the group increases, conformity to majority influence also increases. People are more likely to conform to the views of a larger group than that of a smaller one. The second social factor is anonymity. People are less likely to conform when they know they will be held accountable for their decisions. When individuals are anonymous, they are more likely to conform to the views of the group. And number three is task difficulty. Conformity increases when the task at hand is difficult or ambiguous. In such situations, people look to the group for guidance. Dispositional factors. The first one is personality. One personality characteristic which is relevant is called locus of control. Someone with an external locus of control is more likely to conform to another person's viewpoint than someone with an internal locus of control. Internal locus of control means that an individual is more likely to take responsibility for their actions, whereas someone with an external locus of control is more likely to believe things are down to luck or fate and shift responsibility for their actions. The second one is expertise. Experts in a particular area are less likely to conform to the views of the group. They are more confident in their own knowledge and expertise and are less likely to be swayed by the views of others. Case study seven, Ash's study of conformity. The aim. Solomon Ash's study of conformity aimed to investigate the extent to which individuals conform to a majority group. The method. Ash conducted a series of experiments in which participants were asked to match the length of a standard line to one of three comparison lines. The participants, who were all male American undergraduates, were placed in a room with a group of Confederates who deliberately gave incorrect answers on some of the trials. Ash repeated this experiment 123 times with a different naive participant in the role with the other Confederates each time. The number of Confederates ranged from three to eight more people. The results of Ash's study. The study found that approximately 75% of participants conformed to the incorrect majority at least once, even when the correct answer was obvious. Ash also found that the level of conformity increased with the size of the majority and the unanimity of their response. However, the level of conformity decreased when participants had at least one ally who also gave the correct answer. Conclusions. Ash's study highlighted the importance of social influence and the pressure to conform to the majority opinion. It also showed that conformity is not only affected by social factors, such as group size and unanimity, but also by dispositional factors, such as personality and expertise.